back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Um, today I'm going with this traditional straight pour. Um, I'm using some leftover colors. I like to use up my leftover colors and a straight pour is a great way to do that. So just not waste any time. Get down on the canvas and get started. Be right back. All right, guys, so I've got a 20 by 20 deep edge gallery wrap canvas. Today I am doing a straight pour and I might wreck it. Um, I've got some leftover colors I want to use up and I think a straight pour would be great for these colors. So let's get to layering the cup. All right, so what I'm going to start off with is just a little bit of white here in the bottom. Just to give it hopefully a little bit of a white and gold center on the end. Really, really not using a lot. All right. This first color is a Payne's Gray from Creative Inspirations. And again, I'm just using up some of these colors here. So this is Aqua Green from Amsterdam. I got some Phthalo Green from Soho. A little bit of white. A lot of gold. I'm gonna sandwich that white, or sandwich the gold with some white. This is greenish blue from Amsterdam. This is a combination of fluorescent green with a little bit of lemon yellow from Amsterdam. And I'm going to do a no-no and stick orange next to green. This is cadmium orange. I think that's going to be all right. All right, let's put in some white there. Come back in. I'm gonna need about 16 ounces of paint for this. Or excuse me, 14 ounces of paint. This is a 16 ounce cup. So I'm filling her up. I'm going to pour into a little bit of white here. A little goober in there. All right, let's see what we get out of this. That should be interesting. Now, I may not keep this composition. I may stretch it enough to move it off of the canvas and just create its own little dimension moving around, maybe move the center off. We'll see.
kind of just moving the paint around, kind of opening things up, letting some white cells and stuff are starting to pop up. stand back and look at this real quick like how much white is in here really cool i love the great lines that are shooting around here i'm loving the orange um let's see might have a little bit too much paint left so let's see what moves going to leave this here clean up my edges love in the color combination so cool what a great way to use up this extra paints give this a torch okay guys here we are with the wet result i'm loving this color combination i love the composition too and it's just clouding up with the cells so cool so let's look at this up close to really see some really good lines in here All right, guys, that is going to do it. So it is still wet, so I can't show you the dried result, but I will show you in the next video. So it's a nice, quick, easy video for me today. Everyone, let's head over to Kelly with Feral Art. Don't forget, go to my website. You can purchase some of my art at studio15acrylics.com. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great rest of the weekend.